heading up to uh, Horton Creek right now. This is actually the trail, uh, but the recent snow melt and rains have just flooded the trail. <laughs> like actually <laughs> flooded the trail so it looks more like the creek at this point. Heading out fly fishing for some wild browns. Uh, it's the creek now. The trail is now the creek. Just walk across on these logs. I'm so glad I wore these waders. <laughs> you need these. I know. <laughs> the good news is everything's looking pretty clear though still. Like the mud and other, and the silt runoff has really settled down, which is good. Okay? Yeah, they're fine. Don't step on, okay. Don't step on this log, it would be slippery. Yeah. This fence is super helpful. It'll stop uh, all the people from crossing right here, yeah. Super useful. Holy crap though, that looks sick. That's really pretty. And it's not normally like that at all. Like normally the creek flows underground right here. I have no idea why they put the fence like this though. And this is where we're at, Horton Creek catch and release artificial fly and lures only, barbless hooks, all fish must be released immediately. So if you come here, make sure you check these regulations out and follow them. Mm. Look at this place, beautiful. This is why I like coming out to these little woodland streams. Because even if you don't catch anything, it's still a really nice hike. But right now we're headed up to a spot where I know there's fish. Where I'm pretty sure I can get one. To show you guys just how beautiful these little browns are. I guess now would be a good time to talk about the gear I use for a small stream like this. Uh, right now I've got a Cabela's CGR uh, Prime four weight fiberglass rod. This is seven foot one, I believe, and a Fiblink Crazy Reel. These are just cheap little, cheap little aluminum reels, but they're really great. They're like $22, I think really great little reels for the price and uh, just a Cabela's weight forward floating line here in four weight and a 4x liter for these high conditions uh, 4x liter is perfectly fine got a little split shot here and way up I have a little swivel so I could change tip it easily and the swivel normally isn't in the water anyway with a little 
semi seal leech with an orange bead on it. It is a blood black color. But yeah, that's the gear I'm using right now. And uh, so we're going to head down here. A there's a little trail right there. I'm not going to do that though. I'm not a wimp. Okay, maybe that wasn't the greatest of ideas. I'm also looking for shed antlers along the way. Because in really early spring like this is a really good time to find shed antlers. I'm actually sweating. It's almost 70 degrees out right now. In the uh, middle of the Tonto National Forest in Arizona. And look how beautiful this little creek is. Slightly off color, a little high. But that's perfect for using these little streamers with the bright, bright beads on them. Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. We're going to cross right here. Hopefully it's not super slippery. This current is pretty strong right now. Woo! Oh, whoa. I slipped at the end there. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I got water in my waders. Oh, that's cold. Oh. oh. I slipped. My foot was on the edge of this little drop off and the rock I was standing on just went whoop. Right down. Cross right here. When you're waiting, you should always take really big steps. So that way, if you do slip, you're off balance already and you'll fall flat on your face, and it's funny. Sometimes they're right in here, but I kind of want to hit this one spot that I know of, and then hit that on the way down. Ooh, look at that. Don't follow me. Look at that. I caught my first brown in that pool there. My first wild brown. On a fly rod anyway. I caught browns before that on spinning tackle, but that was where I got my first fly rod brown. Ooh, this is a good spot. of your fishing uh, with streamers should be done from downstream casting up. Minnows don't really swim upstream all that much. Got him, got him. Nice. Nice. Look at that beautiful little brown. Absolutely gorgeous. Calm down, little fish. 
Look at you. Oh, you're pretty. Pop out this barbless hook. Oh, get, let go, let go. Oh, you are pretty fit. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Gorgeous. We're gonna release, release that fish right in here. Watch it swim away. Beautiful fish. That was gorgeous little fish. That's about the size that you're gonna catch them around here. But as you can see, it's worth it. It's worth it just to see those little fish. Watch them go back. Well, we're gonna get back out there. They might all be spooked from that little, the fight with that little guy. Oh, see that? Oh, there it's caught. You see that though? This little one came up and grabbed it. I don't know how well this, there we go. Nice, ah. Oh. See if we can get back out there. He'll bite again. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right. In a little bit, we'll try and get away from catching all these little guys. Work on getting getting into something a little nicer. Alright, yeah. Let's work on getting something a little nicer for you guys. I know there's some nice ones in here. So we'll move up a spot with a little bit nicer brown. 